Having lines organized on deck is one of the most important things you can do when you're cruising or just sailing in general. The biggest, probably the most common way for boats to go aground and onto a lee shore these days is when lines get caught in the prop and the boat becomes adrift. The thing has been taking a beating for years, I suspect. At least it's not uh, coming un unwound like the other uh, end was. I'm trying to stay. To, I'm trying to stay with this catamaran, but we're pulling a little bit better than we can. But I think we're faster. It's feeling balanced. She does like to head up a little bit if there's a huge gust, which I suppose is design feature. Here's our, our, our lay line, a thumb line to our waypoint. So we're gonna come over here and then have a huge big tack all the way back.
the draft of the sail starts to flutter like that, it means we had just a tad too much up there. I'm gonna fill them back out again and bear off it a little bit. There we go. A back tension. I don't know if we can get any more on it. Or main. I can I can come up into the wind a bit. What's the far dog? Seal dogs. Seal dog? That's Cockroach Island right there. Cockroach Island? Okay. Wendy's looking at the chart plotter. I don't think we want to anchor on this side. We're sailing with a single reef in our main and 
that full jib. It was a little bit, eh, it wasn't too bad. We could have had our main up all the way if we wanted to. We're still doing 7.1 7 knots most of the way. Got it up to about 7.8. The boat handles well upwind. It, it, like, like our Catalina, it crabs kind of sideways upwind as, you, as, you, as you're sailing. It's kind of interesting. dogs we got it's a little rough rough today it's, it's blowing out there um, but we'll uh we're running these red mooring balls are day anchorages in the uh, national parks um, so you can't stay overnight but at least we got one there's only about one two three four five that there's only six in total and it's two out there pretty exposed 